when Kim Beveridge received a phone bill for almost $200,000, he thought it was a joke. But he soon discovered it was no laughing matter when his telco told him to pay up. I've received a phone bill for $191,000. You horrified me. Australia's biggest phone bill looks more like a phone book. How could they even send that to somebody? Kim Beveridge says the staggering debt was dialled up after his phone was stolen and used in an elaborate scam. But his telco, Telechoice, has taken him to court, demanding he cough up. I don't know how they can expect someone to pay this. Kim attends an annual IT conference in Barcelona. My phone, I believe, was pickpocketed late one evening um, outside a bar. I notified Telechoice the following evening. But why was there a 20 hour gap between your phone being stolen and you reporting it? I was sort of out and about the whole day. Um, when we got, the, got back that evening, um, I reported it to Telechoice uh, via email. And actually I just received an email from them saying that they had detected some sort of fraudulent activity and they had suspended the account. Indeed, Telechoice emailed Kim saying, we have been notified of possible fraud and we have suspended your service effective immediately. Hell of a turnaround to be sued then and, and served with proceedings. His lawyer, James Graham from Madgwick, says they're going to fight it. Clearly, these calls couldn't have been made uh, all from Kim's phone and Telechoice needs to get real about this. If the sheer volume of the $191,456 bill was not enough to ring alarm bells, perhaps the breakdown of the bill will. Kim says there were more than 4,400 calls made with an average duration of 10 minutes. Now, to achieve this many calls in the 20-hour period, after the phone was stolen and before it was suspended, there had to be an average of 38 simultaneous calls active the entire time. Kim claims it's just not possible for him to make this many concurrent multiple calls from his mobile phone. Those calls were made fraudulently by an international crime ring or something like that. Spain is a well-known hotspot for this type of fraud. Thieves are not after your handset. They don't fetch much on the black market. What they want is your SIM card. And with the latest technology, use it to make multiple calls to premium rate numbers. It's pretty clear that this is a scam. Jared Brody is the CEO at the Consumer Action Law Centre. He has this advice to anyone whose phone is stolen. You should let your telco know straight away and also make a complaint to the police. That way the telco provider can limit any further unauthorised use of that service. Other tips include put a passcode on your phone and on your SIM card. Ask your provider to block calls to premium rate or international numbers. If you are charged for unauthorised calls, negotiate with your provider to reduce the bill. And if the telco insists you pay, take it to the telecommunications ombudsman. Things that will be considered is whether you have complained immediately or as soon as possible to the telco provider. Um, also whether the telco provider had uh, appropriate systems in place to identify unauthorised usage and limit the service appropriately. If the telco didn't have those systems in place you might find that it's more liable than the consumer. There's no way I could make that many calls on a phone. Are you going to pay it? No. In a statement, Telechoice claims it tried to resolve the matter on fair and reasonable terms, including by fully cooperating with the telecommunications industry ombudsman before the ombudsman informed them it would not pursue the matter. The telco refused to respond further as the matter is before court.